What's up guys? We are back again for the third part of the Hero Story Framework. And I'm hoping, I'm not hoping, I know that you're getting value from flushing out your hero story. I know that you're getting the value because we're speaking, we're talking about it, like we're working through it. So I know you're getting the value at this point. Um, we are on part three of the hero story framework. And I love this part right here. I love this part because it's the delusion of becoming a hero. That's part three, you know? The delusion of becoming a hero because to do big things, to even attempt it, you have to be delusional. It has to be something off about yourself just to say like, not just to say, but then to say, but then really believe like, yo, I can change the world. I can make real impact in the world. You have to be delusional because so many people is going to tell you, yeah, <laughs> so did such and such, right? So you have to be delusional. And this is the delusion of becoming a hero. You have to be delusional to think that you can be a hero. But the funny thing is we all are heroes, but most won't even get past that delusional point to make them believe that they are a hero. And that's where we, that's where we get into it, okay? Because we start with the path to self-discovery. Now, if you remember, in Journey of Findings, this is our end of high school, college, and right after college. But now, one thing that we have found is some self-discovery. You know, we find a little bit who we are to the core. And that's what the self-discovery is, okay? That's the first one. But it's not just, bam, it just hits you. It's a path to finding yourself as you go along from origin to the journey of findings and now to the delusion of becoming a hero, okay? So what does that path of discovery look like for me? Because you know, I, I, I love to be transparent, right? I love to share my story and hopefully you can find your story through my story. And hopefully my transparency makes you be transparent, okay? My path to self-discovery starts with this right here. Self-sabotage. It's a powerful thing. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people have this problem. We could be at the brink of everything we ever wanted in life. And then we think, man, we don't, I don't deserve this. This is not for me. I'm not good enough, okay? So my self-sabotage starts even back from my origin story, okay? It starts back then. But then I'll go to the journey of findings when the coach leaves, right? Self-sabotage myself. drop in the class, okay? And it's a list can go on and on and on. On and on and on. Leaving Bethune-Cookman that summer and taking
taking weed back to Buffalo. <laughs> trying, just trying to self-sabotage myself. Just trying, trying to put myself back into the hood and back into those environments that I no longer yearn for, right? So in that self-discovery, what do I have to do? I have to find a way to change it, right? But if I don't go through the path to self-discovery, I don't even know that that self-sabotage exists within me. Okay? So for you, where does that path to self-discovery start from? Okay? And mind you, yours doesn't have to be this. This is mine because I needed to identify that for me. Yours could be something great. I discovered this about me. It could be a great thing, right? So each of ours will, will, will differ, but it's a path to self-discovery. Because there's other things that I can say I discovered about myself as well. I discovered so much, even resilience, right? I, I, I discovered that I would never quit something that I believed in. So that was, you know, that, that was a good thing. So I think here on this path of self-discovery, we identify one, two, three, maybe even four different things about us and ourselves as self-discovery, okay? Now, we're gonna embrace our unique gifts because we all have these gifts. But a lot of times, we don't embrace them, okay? We don't embrace these gifts. So embracing our unique, our unique gifts. One thing that I never embraced was my creativity. And my creativity did not really take its, take its own path until after basketball, right? Because remember, to a certain point, even in my journey of findings, all the way to the end of my journey of findings, I still believe that basketball was my purpose, okay? So, Embracing your unique gifts, the creativity, okay? You're gonna do the exact same thing. What are your unique gifts? I would say creativity, um, the ability to market, the ability to a gift to start something from scratch, all under creativity. So, so to start a company, okay, see it through. Your, 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 your personal unique gifts, that's what you put under this embracing your, your gifts, okay? So embracing your unique gifts, pull them out, pull them out. And it's a purpose, this is only the first slide, okay? Discovering self-improvement. Where did you improve, okay? Me, that self-sabotage, by the time I started to be delusional <laughs> of becoming a hero, That self-tabotage started to get marked off, right? That's the improvement, the belief.
and self, self-improvement. Telling myself confirmations, okay? Working out, discovering self-improvement, reading. Okay? So yourself, discovering your self-improvement, what are you doing at that point in your life as we go through this delusion of becoming a hero? What are you doing to self-improve? Okay? What are those things you're doing? Now, this is a big one right here. Embracing growth. Phew. Embracing growth. And I have I have the I have the, the perfect story for this. Because after my basketball career, after I was cut from my professional team in Argentina, guess what? I came back to the to the USA and I was lost. 2004, that, my basketball career was over. 2005, I'm completely lost. 2006, I'm charged. by the feds for, I'm sorry, for guns. What didn't I do? I never embraced the growth that, I never embraced the growth where I came from. I went 20 steps back to being a hood guy. Right? I didn't embrace the growth from being in Argentina. I didn't, I didn't embrace that. Right? So you have to embrace, what, what does that look like for you? This is, you know, as we're building this out, I'm telling the delusion of me becoming my own hero, right? But I had to embrace this because embracing that growth because it's things that I missed. And that's why it's so important for you to be self-aware and transparent. Because see, now when I go through the hero story and I've went through the hero story, I have I had to embrace these, you know, the, these things in order to get to the next part. And then the next part, right? But I had to embrace that, okay? So it was so much growth but I did not embrace it. I went back to the USA almost as the same person that left. Probably even worse because now I'm completely lost, okay? And that goes all the way to here. Unveiling the truth. Unveiling the truth. It took me being lost not embracing the growth that I had from the, a situation like this or a situation from going to the black college, right? Um, going on that journey to becoming a pro basketball player, right? Never embraced that growth, never embraced it. And then when I, then when I go to unveiling the truth, Right when I when I go to unveiling the truth, it took me all the way to being a prisoner in the federal system. It took me all the way to being a prisoner in the federal system 
to unveil the truth that <laughs> that it took all all of this all of it took all of the, all, all of this way to unveil the truth that I am not a criminal for one. <laughs> The truth is, I don't belong in this life, okay, to right here, <laughs> and I'm, I'm laughing, I'm laughing because when I go through, every time I go through this, I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? But what I'm saying is the whole thing is it takes all of these parts in order to get to where you're going to be. And you're like, man, I needed this. <laughs> I needed this in order to understand myself and know where I'm, where, where I'm going. Right. And be able to tell these stories um, authentically. Right. So the, the truth, the truth. Unveiling the truth, being a prisoner in a federal system, what are you doing? Bro, you're not a criminal. You're not good at being a criminal. You, like, you get caught the first time. You don't belong in this life. You're not a tough guy, right? Um, <laughs> the truth is, be you. <laughs> Be you. It's okay to be a creative and not a thug, <laughs> right? It's okay. It's okay. And when I say not a criminal, we'll say, okay, because hey, this happened, this happened, I was charged, so yeah, I was a criminal. But you aren't this. You aren't a thug. Okay? That's not your life. So, you have to unveil the truth about that. And you're going to do the exact same thing. Did you embrace the growth that you had, right? Did you embrace that growth? And then when you, if you did, how did you embrace the growth? Because a lot of times we don't even know that we've actually grown because what do we do? We self-sabotage, right? So we suppress that and break that, that growth that we're supposed to be embracing, that we are a different person, right? So we don't embrace that growth and then the truth always reveals itself in something that happens to slap us in the face, slap us in the face and makes us know, bam, that's the truth, right? And that's what happens to most of us time and time again. And that's why this is so important. That's why it's, it's so important to be able to comb through all of this to get all of it that's bound upside in you out, okay? So now we gotta now unveil the truth. Please unveil the truth. So now we go to <laughs> acquiring skills and mental toughness. Because I and, and unveil the truth, the mental toughness is bestowed on me. Because guess what? I have to have some type of mental mental toughness at this point right now. Because guess what? I am a prisoner. <laughs> Right? Then what do I do? I say, oh, acquire some skills. Hmm. Now what do you, what skills are you going to acquire? Okay? So, skills could be, let's start when, let's start when, when I was released, but when I was inside, skills B 
business planning, writing, right? These are skills. Writing is a skill. That's why you have an industry of people that write books. They're writers. That's a skill, okay? Business planning, that's a skill, okay? People can say, networking is a skill, okay? But after my release, the main skill that I started gaining was being able to make and edit video, okay? So not just business planning, not just writing, not just networking, but then also making professional video and being able to edit professional video, okay? So, so now I've been acquired skills, but the mental toughness from being a prisoner, huh, I put myself through that, but you had to have some mental toughness. But then also when you look back through the mental toughness that you had to have as in, as an athlete, that goes along with it as well, right? So again, when you're going through the entire story from origin, mental toughness from being from the ghetto, mental toughness from a uh, journey of findings, mental toughness from going through different schools, being put in different environments and still having to perform. This all gains that mental toughness, right? How did that work for you? What skills did you start to acquire around this time? Okay? And your mental toughness. Where did you where did you start gaining your mental toughness? To start going out to be, start becoming that hero and have that delusion that you can be a hero, right? Now, nurturing your well-being, but this right here, I think that goes all the way back to unveiling the truth. Unveiling the truth because if you're nurturing, nurturing your well-being, for me, when I'm nurturing my well-being, I'm knowing now who, who I am in taking care of that person, okay? I'm knowing that I am not this. I'm just a guy that likes to create things. Okay? I'm not a tough guy, right? Embracing that, unveiling that truth, okay? Unveiling just because you're from the ghetto doesn't mean you have to be a thug, okay? Unveiling these things makes you go to nurture who you are. And that's where you should be, where you're nurturing your well-being to who I am. Who am I? Okay? And taking care of that person. How are you nurturing that well-being? Okay? That can be not putting yourself in different environments because your environment is huge. Okay? Keeping yourself in a safe environment for yourself. Okay? That right there in itself is nurturing your well-being, right? So this is the first part of the delusion of becoming a hero. And like I said, you'll have to, nurturing your well-being, how? How did you do it? How did you do it? I'm just showing you examples so you can go and do the exact same thing, okay? And so that is slide one, because this this part three, this part three is gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a doozy. We're halfway, We're ha by the time we finish part three, we'll be halfway through, right? So this is a lot of meat. 
we've went through origin. You know who you are. You know where you came from. You know your background, your journey of findings. What did you find out about yourself in that time? Okay? And now, this delusion right here, now it gets serious. Now it gets serious. So that's slide, that's, that's slide one. We'll get into slide two in a second.